Kooigoed bos, rinoster bos en poegoe. Ingredients of a traditional cleansing ritual, as it has been done for thousands of years. This was once the settlement of Gogosoa, who along with other local tribes were forced out of the peninsula with the commission of the first colonial boundaries in 1660. The Dutch kept meticulous records of their interaction with the locals. And on 25 September 1665, Gogosoa's former settlement was cleared to make way for the castle. Today, descendants of the Khoisan are taking ownership once again. This place was always a place of exclusion, it was a place of pain and suffering. But um, today, maybe with the symbolic reclaiming of it, it's uh, the first step towards healing. You know, healing is not an event, it's a process, but the process starts here and it started with ceremony. In the south! Choro! Calling the names of great leaders to the four corners of the wind and paying homage to those who once walked the land as free people. Oh, it's very, very important for me to be part of that holy uh, ceremony because it, it, it up deeply into me my heart and I can feel the, the presence of my ancestors called Abu, Abu Khan in the Khoi language. It's hoped the ceremony will encourage debate on the disposition of indigenous people. They are not words, they are not thoughts, they are tangible proof that you can have a reference point to have those difficult debates about contested spaces, about contested stories, about contested narrative. Mariska Boeta, ECBC News, Cape Town.